going on, everybody? This is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Fortnite Creative. And today we're back on our The Block Second Submission. As you can see, the front is very imposing of a place when you come up to it. I think it looks pretty good. I still need to do some work on the central building, but we'll get to that soon enough. Also, I just want to go ahead and note down here below, there's 55,000 memory used. That is from all the bajillion prefabs I have pulled out. I have a bajillion million prefabs just pulled out. And I'd like to say, if you guys would like what you see, please hit the subscribe button and the notifications button. That way you can keep up with what's coming up. Um, I plan to continue doing stuff in Fortnite Creative for quite some time. So, yeah, uh, you know, don't forget to continue to hang out because you know, it's pretty good. We've done some premieres with the YouTube. Uh, it, that's actually been really fun getting to chat with you guys while the video premieres. That's the first time I have ever done it was because, with this game. So that's kind of cool. Um, I have a lot of little detail work that needs to get done. As you can see here, there's stuff missing like little edging pieces and stuff like that. I'll get to that here soon enough. I do want to show you what I've done, though. I have continued the wall all the way around the side, and I am sick still, and it, it, it sucks, but it is what it is. We got videos to make, and you guys, you know, you know, oh, that's wrong. We'll work on that later. But anyway, um, finish this over here, then end up moving it, putting another one of these kind of buildings here, and then have a connected piece. I didn't want to overuse these covers because I used it in the last uh, submission as well, but I thought it looked really good with this edging on it. Um... Where'd the edging go? Right here. This edging here, which needs to be on this side. I have to go through and clean it up. I'm kind of, this is kind of like my sketch mode where I'm kind of just putting pieces together, making sure I like how it looks and kind of going from there. I haven't decided what I want to do here just yet with this building, but it continues on to here. Um, this is missing edging as well. So let's get that on there because I, I would like to at least see that. I'll put like all the corner stuff on later. And then this one requires the red ones, I believe. The, the, this one here, yeah, the red ones, but it's got brick on it. You know what I'm saying? And it ties the brick back in all the way. And then we'll get you and put you here for the final building on this. And I'll clear that up on the edge here soon enough. But I did it on both sides. So you can see we've got a nice circular, uh, well, square area set up. The back I left kind of open because I felt it'd be kind of cool to have the back end of the the prison tannery prison or whatever uh, cell block thing um to be more like the loading bay and stuff like that where, where goods and stuff are brought directly in maybe and then the front here i've also put in a little indention and shaped out a floor for the base level of the prison itself now i decided to do cell blocks like this we only have fence gates closest thing i can get right now i'm going to leave it like this right now i have gone through and put a couple different walls in here so it's not all the exact same wall uh you can see the difference between those two ish i think i don't know i did i did do some somewhere so <laughs> but i'm gonna be using the set from the club that's the club over there and i'm gonna be using pieces for that to build the penitentiary area itself um i do want to turn these areas into like have this one on one side be like a storage area uh, with like like pallets and, and cargo boxes and stuff like that. And we still need to make more entrances going into our perimeter walls. Right now I have stuff set up in here to go in. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I said, I'm still sick. <coughs> My apologies. And um, this actually goes up. I had to do a stair like this to make it work with the openings we have. But it leads to the top. So that's really cool. Um, I'm, I'm happy we're able to at least get this to where it's cohesive with everything. And then down here it continues over. I haven't put stairs in here yet or floors and I haven't put a doorway in the bottom yet. So this is kind of where we're at on both sides of this. It's the same thing over here. And it's, 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 it's getting there. Okay. Sorry about that. I got in a little coughing fit there and I had to stop and cough and now I'm better ish. So inside we have the cells done. I'm going to use the walkways, these tiles for the walkways on the base floor. I think it's a good start. I think it looks okay. Um, and I think the central area here, I really wish I had something that we could designate for a, a grass tile, uh, at least so we can visually get it together. Cause I'd like to have a small little open area with maybe glass, uh, with, with, with like uh, some sort of roofing over it. I think we don't have one that we can use easily to cover the top. We'll have to figure something out. I want to have light coming in here. We'll figure something out definitely but let's get this let's get to work uh start with the beginning and the front of the place now we i like these windows and this window has a gray like a brownish gray bottom this one doesn't so i feel like this is supposed to be the bottom piece and then the other one stack on top of it for multiple floors so you, it looks a little bit better and i think we're going to do is do like maybe two stacks of these per section 
like that, and then have two stacks here. And then do two stacks here. This looks really institutional, like, to me, industrial-ish, too, but I think it could be... I think it'll work out for this. Um, let's grab the other one, which was that bad boy right there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Let's just go up three for now. Not that I'm going to build that high up. Probably will. Uh, honestly, and too high here. I think what we're going to do is do the side wings that go up taller and the middle section be down lower. That's where the immediate administrative areas will be. We do need to add like a cafeteria area too. So this might end up changing exactly what I thought I was going to do. Maybe, no, we don't have any grass, ground tiles. Hmm. I wonder if we have workout benches and stuff. That'd be really good. <laughs> I guess I'll be digging through some more prefabs. Uh, the back end of it, I have uh, filled in with a little bit of the reddish walls just to kind of, again, get it up and going. Uh, we need to find some of these kind of walls that don't have the gray, the brownish bottoms on it. There's some right there. Where are those at? Though? How many do we have of them? There's one, two, three of them. That club music playing. Yeah! Jamming it! Uh, 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 yeah, I'm getting busy on the dance for it. Uh, 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 anyway, sorry, little distraction. I'm sick. I got an excuse, right? Okay, not really. Okay, so these ones we have, uh, this one has a brownish bottom on it. This one doesn't. So this looks like our winner for the next row up. For these so let's get them up let's do like that far it still has that top to it but it's that's going to limit us on what we can specifically accomplish with this right now maybe we can go two-tone with this as well i just don't want to two-tone everything at two walls high i just feel like there's too much of that already with what we've done there i like how a lot of this breaks up with the pillar these things going up um, may have to think of something to break it up even more. I don't know yet. Uh, this is in, that's there, that's in the front. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, I'm going to grab that one. Rotate it. Let's see, it. and that one has the brown grime on the top too. This is going to be difficult in tying it in right without an issue. Let's just get this up though and just see how she looks steady as she goes oh we'll go oh, we'll go ahead and get over there too might as well go ahead and get it done now the cell floors here on the sides are going to be one high so that's not really an issue um with the changing of the grime the only time place is gonna really matter is outside here Looks like we got it happening here anyhow. How did they overcome that with the club build? Or did they? They have something in the line there. Are those different pieces? No, they only went too high. That's why. And then they did another row of that. So every other one, they went to the grime one. Okay, so I guess that's the intent and purposes of that. Uh, let's see here. What do we have behind this one? That one's actually decently clean. So let's see what we can do. Because we'll be, we'll be changing up walls, making sure it's not all the same thing right now. We're just fleshing out the build itself. So let's try that out, though. Let's go ahead and add a second row looking like the same thing here. Uh, right there. Get there. It does go back out again. But it does line up, too. Why does that look? Oh, it's because this one's like this, okay? Let's do that. That's not too bad. I guess if that's what they meant for these pieces, we could make it happen. We're going to find out a way to dress it up real nice and pretty, though. That's it gives an interesting feel to it. Now, do we have a one that has a clean bottom on it with the intent intentions going on? We do right there. And it's got a clean back on it. So let's grab this one for the next one. And maybe that'll help break up the boxy feel of it some. At least give it some more types of depth going on. I'm 
Wrong one, again. Let's do this one here, and then grab this one here. Now, does that look too tall, or does it look about right? I think this needs to come up another one. That's not too bad, actually. And I like how it does the indention, then it goes back. I think. Let's try this one here and just see. The light is crazy right now. Okay, let's do this guy right here. Okay, that's okay. I wonder if we we tested something here and for science and tried this out with it. The, with the darker one on there. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Because it's metal, and so we have, like, that grime coming off. It looks like the metal is oozing it. Okay, so let's look at the interiors here. Um, let's find a good ceiling to put on top of here. Uh, we can use any ceiling, so let's see if we can find some good grimy-looking, tiley kind of... I don't want to use this concrete. We will be using this for the, the metal for something else. Um... Uh, It's the same thing. We don't have anything in here that's really... It's the same one we... What does this one look like here? That. I don't want that. Uh... Hmm. Oh, yeah, that beat. Wait, did that, how'd that dance floor look? Oh. It's the same thing. It looks, it looks like... Uh, it has tile on the bottom or not? I can't tell. It's probably the same dang thing. Oh, uh, that's a different type of ceiling. I like that. We're going to use that one then. Alright, so let's go out there. Yeah, it looks... It's similar as our walkway areas, but I think... You know, we did our rooms a little differently, but I think this will look good for the next row. We don't really need to cover that, actually. Because what I want to do is have the cell block stacked, but then we're going to do something different with the way to access each cell block. Let's put another row on this one just, to, just for science again. Why did I do that? I don't know. Why did you do that, John? Which way you got them facing? Uh, the other way? And take this actually now we should probably take one of these not that one that one's wrong let's take one of these rotate it uh, I did something wrong I chose the wrong one for the bottom ones I think so we'll do this for the bottom do the same thing with these on the side too Again, I'm going to go through and change what each one of them, um, like, mix up the walls so it's not the same exact thing the entire time. Again, right now, it's just trying to get a feel for what we have. There's that. There's that. That kind of cleans it up some. Then we'll put another row of these just for now. And I'll go back through and add walls in between. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm wondering something, too. Is... There's that piece here. Of course, we need to have a piece for it to sit on. But let's grab... Uh, that is in the center of it, so... Uh, I was hoping to use something different, like a, a double... A two-sided one. Maybe we could use that to bring it back to the walkway. I kind of want to have it where there's not all these. I want to have spaces between the, the cells and the, the, the walkway area. So if we rotate this like that. Where's the holder uppers at? The supports are right there like they're supposed to be. And then that one's not. So we can get some arches below. But if we do something like this.
Hmm. I need to toy around with some guys. Let me do that, and we will come right back. Welcome back. And I've got some stuff worked out. Uh, this looks like a hot mess, kind of, but when you're in it, it looks actually pretty cool, I think. I need to get these walls up in here. It's going to be dark in here, I guess. But uh, I've got, the, of course, the pins up there, and then i got this to work out. We have these little right wall, right stairs, and then these can go up to each individual one. I had to get walls in here for the pins. And then I put up the railings for each section to make sure it was safe. Don't want anyone getting hurt, you know, playing this game, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, it worked out pretty nicely. Uh, and the cool thing is there's stairs on both sides that oh, that work their way up, no problem. So you can continue going around up, and I still have one more level of cells to make. So that is the the key, I guess, in this. Also, I've used these iron bars to kind of give it some more depth, especially when they're looking up in the bottom. And this is kind of what I was hoping for. And then there's a couple open areas where you can see very clearly the, the spacing and stuff like that. But there's a lot of hiding spaces kind of thing to me. Um, and then the back end of it ended up making it solid chain, and we'll make these longer cells. Uh, or maybe even have a couple that are like single cells and then have back here maybe in case they want to throw some loot in there or something. I can put some stuff in there too, I guess. Um, not loot wise, but like just just de decorative and stuff like that. So we still have to build all that over here now. Th that's going to be the, t the challenge. We'll do this on camera now that I have uh, started, you know, doing this, I guess. So now we can actually do it again. <laughs> Let's rotate you, go like that and have you set up all the way up. I can't do you yet. So what I'm going to do is something that I normally do in most videos. Uh, I have some level of thing. I call it fast forwarding. And that's what we're going to go ahead and do. And I did that wrong, didn't I? Yeah, it did. That belongs there. And we're going to fast forward. I'm going to build a bunch of this stuff in front of you guys. So you can see kind of what we're doing and where the mentality is behind it and making it. And yeah, so um, hopefully you guys like it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the, about the fast forwarding, by the way, because it lets me know what you guys like and it kind of helps me kind of get into the stuff that you guys like to watch so anyway here we go Welcome back. And yeah. 
We've kind of got it there. Uh, these walls will go up later once we figure out what the interior is going to look like exactly. But um, we have it done. It's there. I have those two pieces to pull copies from. Uh, yeah, uh, we still have one more row of cells to do up here. But that is like the final height. We're not going higher than four. Four is enough. Four is more than enough, I think. I think four is a lot. Um, I'm going to have to go through and clear out a lot of the old prefabs I have out here for pulling stuff from just so I can kind of get start getting a tabs on where we're at. I think we're about like 20 something, maybe maybe 30 something, possibly probably 30 something. I'm guessing now with all the little things we've done. So uh, I need to start getting a little bit better a grip on what we've got. But yeah, this has been it's been a lot of work today. I feel like a lot of stuff got done, though. It's not like a you know how sometimes you work a lot and then it just feels like uh, what did I actually accomplish? It's it doesn't feel like that. It feels like there's it's this is substantial to me. Um, except that's substantially in the wrong spot too. Um, I think this is this will work out well. Let's grab that piece and put it back here with what we've got planned. So um, just getting the central section worked out. We need to get some bathrooms up in here. We need to get like just a bunch of things done. Now, there's a lot of rooms to have to be uh, decorated too. If I count them right now, we have a rows. We have eight per row on the front. So right there alone, there's 24. So the back side there's 24. But I'm gonna make some of these long, so it won't be that much. Uh, so that means we have 48 cells at least to have to decorate. So and that's not including the next row up, <laughs> which is another 16. So there's a lot that needs to happen, and I had to start, like I said, start counting stuff. So I'll be removing all the prefabs because a lot of these prefabs take up a lot of extra. Some of the club stuff is like almost a thousand for some of the pieces. Several of the other ones have to be real picky and choosy what we put into the build right now. In the build itself, it has uh, low cost items, which is what we're shooting for that still look good with the build. So you know, uh, if I could say with the build any more with the build, then I would be with building with the build like this on the with build type of so with build sort of way. But anyway, you know. So, you guys, hopefully, if you like the fast forward, let me know down below. That lets you know what you're thinking. Also, if you do like the video or, you know, and think it's, it looks kind of cool, don't forget to sign the like button. Share. Share helps out so much. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that, 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 that notification bell button. That's so popular. It's so popular. Did I miss one? I missed one all the way down, didn't I? You are fired, John. You are fired. You are so fired. You got to fix that right now. I miss on the other side too, probably. Probably, yeah, probably. But yeah, so as always, guys, thank you so very much. And you have yourselves a good night. <laughs>